Hello. Outpour East here. Outpour Outdoors. Everything fishing, everything outdoors. And today we're going to be doing a super quick down and dirty review. Let me move this a little bit here. Super quick down and dirty review of this Frost River Island Royale pack, bushcraft pack. Um, made right here in USA. And um, it's a decent pack. So the reason why I wanted to do a review on this pack is because I want to tell you guys some things about it uh, before you go out and buy it. You might want to buy it. You might not want to buy it. I don't think it's for everyone. So I'm going to tell you what I think about it. I'm going to tell you how I'm going to use it. And I'm going to tell you what I like about it as well as what I don't like about it. So let's go over some of the features real quick. Okay, so as you can see, beautiful uh, wax canvas. Everything is traditional about this thing. It screams traditional. I mean, the lacing on it, everything is brass. That's a, you got a leaf right in my camera. Um, you got every, uh, brass buckles, leather, wax canvas. Everything's heavy leather. You got buckskin on the straps here. You got a, you got a, on this, on this ver version, you have a waist strap. There's two more version. There's the mini and then there's the junior. Um, this is the, the big boy. This is the, the biggest one. And this is approx, according to the website, it says it's approximately 81 liters. Uh, I, I, it, it looks like more to me, but, <laughs> but uh, it's, it's approximately 81 liters. According to the website, it's approximately seven pounds. This specific one weighs 8.1. So this is a, a heavy pack. It's a, it's a very heavy pack, guys. So that's one thing that you have to weigh. Do, no pun intended. That's one thing that you have to decide, is this for you? Um, where, how, how far are you going on your trips? How far are you hiking in? Are you taking a car and then you, are you just hiking a mile into the woods? Are you gonna be taking a canoe? What, what are you gonna use this pack for? Specifically, I'm gonna use this pack more for canoe trips um, and uh, I think it's great for that. It rides really low on the back, so that works really, really great. And uh, so if you're portaging, I believe that this pack would be good to portage. It, it rides pretty low on your back and it's nice and wide, so, so it's nice for that. But, but please take into account, you don't wanna portage with this thing for too long. This is a heavy pack. Yes, it's it's great looking. It looks traditional. Um, it's probably gonna outlive me, especially if I take care of it. But you gotta, you gotta, that's one thing to consider, the weight. As you can see, the two sides, you got a, a giant pouch here. You can definitely put an ax in between there, a saw, whatever. I just got some pillows in there to show, to show, show it full, so it looks pretty jacked up. And the other way, the other one. The Nalgene's fit in there just fine. A Nalgene bottle, anything you want to put in there fits in there just fine. You have this strap here, which you can cinch it down, depending on what you got, your load in there. You can cinch that down. And this is all heavy, I mean heavy duty leather. All of it is thick. Good, good leather. It's only gonna, it's gonna age wonderfully. You got two straps in the front. Then you got two straps for this. A Nalgene with a 750 milliliter pot will will nest with nested will fit into these pouches with some room to spare. So you can put some on something on the bottom and then put your Nalgene and your nesting your nesting cup. I know that's what I like to know when I when I see a backpack. So that's good. You got those two on the sides. Beautiful straps on the back. It comes with this waist. Um, not this is the waist belt that it comes with beautiful waist belt and then you got this sternum strap with this brass clip super nice pack I mean if you look at it I mean the craftsmanship on it is ridiculous the drag strap here phenomenal something I really didn't like about the Pathfinder pack was it these little details weren't paid attention to as much but this is a $450 pack guys I know that probably hit. I hope you were sitting down when I told you that. This is a 400, or you probably know if you're looking into this video. <laughs> this is a 450 dollar pack, so you have to really think about that. You know, are there 
hundreds and hundreds of packs that'll do the same exact thing as this one for less yes this is definitely a a niche item but it's a beautiful item and um there's a lot of pro there's a lot of pride and ownership i know a lot of people they love calling other people stupid when they buy something expensive but when you want something you want something and, and i don't think that you should not buy it because of the price because it's, it's really a buy once cry, cry once thing with this if you buy it i mean i i'm, I'm 100 sure it's gonna last you so sorry about the wind if that's messing things up i don't really have much else to say about it i wanted to do a quick review i didn't want to do anything too crazy uh the stitching on it is gorgeous everything on it is amazing you got a couple drain holes at the bottom of these pockets you got the uh the bedroll straps which i did find to be a bit thin down here so you know you could widen them up but you probably don't want to do that they're a bit thin other than that it's a beautiful pack let me show you how it rides Um, one thing, I'm uh, I'm 5'10", 185 pounds, so I'm, I'm a pretty, I'm not the biggest dude, um, and this big one fits on me quite fine. If I overload it, like any pack, I say it in all videos I do about packs, you are going to be miserable. So it's already a heavy pack, so you do not want to overload this pack. And another thing that you want to, you want to like uh, really think about is this pack has no frame no internal frame no external frame i don't think it's too much of a problem i see people griping about it but i think you just have to think more about the way you pack your items if you pack your items with care and you think about it i don't think you'll really have a problem with this pack um some people they put garbage cans in it uh i don't recommend that but you do whatever you want um because it's just gonna make it heavier it's just gonna make it that much heavier if you put a garbage I love the can pack and as you can see, it rides pretty low. So you can totally portage with this and you can put it down even more. I have it up pretty high. So you can put it down even more and you can totally portage with this pack and you'll be completely fine. You won't have to worry about that. The straps feel good. Everything feels really good on it. It's a really nice pack. So I recommend it, yes. Um, do I think you can get, if this is like your first item, I don't think so, you know, like, if you can you can get a whole kit for less than a 450 bucks so <laughs> so i mean that's a whole nother video if you like it buy it i think it's great and i think it's worth the money personally i think it's a good pack and i don't think you're going to be sorry